حدثنا محمد بن عبيد الله قال حدثنا عبد العزيز بن ابي حازم عن نبيه عن ابي حازم عن سهل بن سعد رضي الله عنه قال كيف حالك؟ يا رب لك الحمد، كيف حالك؟ الحمد لله الحمد لله الله يحييك بصراحة بخير اسمه الاخر كريم؟ عمر عمر مصور من الولايات المتحدة ما شاء الله تبارك الله مسوي فلوج اهلا وسهلا بك فلوج اسلامي اذهب معي الى فطور والله بالله عليك ملتزمين والله ملتزمين يا رجل قريب هنا من جامعة الله يحييك الله يسلمك يا حبيبي الله يبارك فيك السلام عليكم حياك الله بارك الله فيك I have a question. So, what made you not stay in the dorms and all that, like when at the time? I needed my space. Um, it was, you know, you know, HD is a multicultural, multiracial, and ethnic. You know, there's no one thing, but it's certain stuff that gotta be there for certain chemistry. You could be black, you could be purple, you could be pink or green. I don't care, but it's 
basic mutual respect. So you got people from different parts, different lands that lack that respect to me, you, and the chemistry is off, you need your space. Because sleeping is important, uh, of course, to studying, eating, uh, study time, recreation, all of that stuff, it gotta be right. So if you're trying to sleep and somebody's partying, Hmm. You trying to listen to Quran, they laughing, or you laughing, they listen, whatever the case may be, it's gonna be a problem. So this is some of the reasons why I stayed. Plus I wanted my own, you know, I needed my space for, for a lot of books. You see what I'm saying to you? Yeah, the, the times, the restrictions, yeah, it was too much for me. I needed, I my understand. wings needed some space to spread out. I see. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Let alone, obviously, you know, you have your family with you, or your family coming or whatever, you wanna, you need you need an apartment as well. You dig me? Yes. This is where you get your, um, you know. Oh, the stamps. Yeah, no. The leather, oh. the binding, the right. books bound. He's a master. He did a lot of my books. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's a skilled, skilled artisan. He, he don't know my face, though. I don't know. He used to, he used to work in a bookstore. Now ah, all you do see. is just mess with the, with the binding. So you got the dorms, seven. Work the seven, yeah. I was in number, way up there, I think, was it number two? Was I, was it in Saigon? I think it was Saigon. It was one of the worst. Super. That's what they called it, well, like, they called it Saigon. I'm, I swear. I could be mistaken, but that's what I remember. That drink was like Saigon too. And you got to be in Vietnam, the POW. Yeah, well, I moved out. God. <laughs> you see, it's been old. Now, way down there is all the new stuff. So when I was in my first year of college, a lot of the brothers from America, UK, whatever, they automatically got into the new ones. When I came out, they put me in the, old, the OG one, which was a blessing. Like I said, more of the old school whiff, nah. the old school funk, the original funk, you understand? Not the residue, you understand? Yes. So that was a blessing in the skies, right? Yeah. A lot of yeah. brothers, they came in the language programs, or, or the language program on the first year of the, of the um, thingy, and they went right into the big fancy drinks. So Saigon, you had like four people in a room, or two people in a room, a small room with a, board, uh, a divider. They had big rooms, central AC, all types of comfort and luxury that we never had. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. All different. It's totally different. We got the Rip Right Park, you know. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> My name is Mahmoud. 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 Nah. Mahmoud G. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Ibrahim yeah. from Seattle, yeah, huh? Ibrahim from Seattle, yeah, yeah. How's school is your hadith? Man, it's my first year, so everything's going good. Uh, we're starting it's a new year, so it's like Sana uh, Mushtarika. Okay. We're not getting to a lot of hadith yet, but third, second, ah. third, and fourth year, they're... They switched it. Still, yeah, this is the first year they're doing I see, that. I see, I see. So I see. we just got, you know, mudkhal hadith, you know, just basic hadith. Uh, but it's very beautiful. Uh. Nice, nice, nice. Mashallah. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. May Allah give you success. I mean, I mean. I hope too. that you do well and be strong, you know what I'm saying? I mean. You know, we need people like you. No. Young, strong, focused. You know, bit Tawfiq. Tawfiq Habibi. Yeah, good to see you. Pleasure to meet you. What are you doing over here? Do you have like a like a uh, well, We have a group. We have a group. Yes, we came in a group. But here we're just trying to, you know, reminisce. Yeah, the, the times. Eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we'll try to get some benefit, inshallah. Hey, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. 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 Assalamu alaikum.
inshallah. That's a lesson you never know who's gonna benefit from you. I learned this a long time ago. Never to scorn yourself, never to scorn your work. You never know where Allah is gonna put nefer for, for, from you to the people. So your job is not to worry about who's listening or watching, how many people, who's, your job is just press the go button, that's it. Hmm. You know, your job, you have, you're, it's a factory. Produce the product, push it out. Give the dawah, call, and that's it. Allah is the, he who controls the hearts, that's it. And that's proof right there, living proof. You dig me? Yes. Now I know what that feels like. They changed what? They switched what? Now, now, now I know what that feels like. Check this spot out, Shania. Yeah, so that's one. I was in two. Over here, two. Yeah, I was in two. building alhamdulillah i did my uh bachelor's in the older building i don't know if it's still there if they knocked it down they demolished it, i don't know so i graduated from the old building the old school Mashaykh, alhamdulillah i can take pride in that this is the new building um i did my uh my first year of master's in the old building second even the second year i believe i think third and fourth was in the new building which obviously you don't go to school every day anyhow you only go to school maybe once a week if that to meet your professor twice a week. I will go to visit the library and stuff, but you researching on your own, you know what I mean? Writing. School buildings was totally different. Sign door was just humble, simple. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Old school sign. Yeah, not so long. Ready? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So what are some things you feel have changed? Uh, well, like the brother has said, and this is the, the Grand Master of the University, Master uh, Ibn Baz, Rahimahullah. You know, like, like he said, you know, well, there you go, look at that. I said, yeah, I knew I wasn't crazy. That building is different. Now we used to be Kulish Shadi. Ah. Man, that's the College of Umvima of like, that's some like some secular type stuff. I see. I did see that on yeah, the website. Yeah. That's that's one major difference. In my times, it was strictly Islamic. I didn't know. Jamia Islamia. No. You know what I'm saying to you? It's interesting. Whereas Islamic University in Medina, according to my limited knowledge, it was one of the few 
purely solely Islamic universities in the world. You got tons of like colleges that have Islamic branches, total Islamic sections, Umm Qura, Egypt, or Algeria, all over the place. But we talking about absolutely just for Islam and the propagation of Islam. So you know things. Oh man, the memories. I have memories in here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have but so many. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. Some memories, of course, but it wasn't like the old building. You understand my pedigree? Here, this was the same from the old days. Praying in the morning, making review, muraja, mudakra hift, test preparation, meeting students. Yeah, a ton of memories in this in this building. Sparring grounds, huh? Oh, one of them. One of many. Oh, yeah. Sparring grounds was just streets. To and from. Hmm. To and fro. Boom. What you, what you know? Oath court. Mention this. Tell me this. Proof. Nah, nah. Who said this? Who? You know what I'm saying? What difference of opinion? Boom, boom. Explain. There's no you know? designated time or place. No, no, no. Not at all. Not at all. Hold my right hand. Right here. Pull it to the ground. If I'm not mistaken. And it's some type of administrative building. Or maybe put it to Dawa. Excuse me. Oh, he's speaking. Yes. Put it to Dawa. And on the left there was put it to the Quran. And on the right was put it to Hadith al Sharif. What did I say to Islam? So when you get out of school or whatever, you leave the school, you got two options. You either want to pray in the Musalla there, depending on what time your class get out. Or you're gonna walk to the uh, big masjid, the Baz masjid, and make zuhur there. You dig me? I see. So if you're living here on a dorm, whether you're single or whatever, you know, by yourself, once you finish your school, you're gonna make your salah, then you're gonna eat your lunch. After your lunch, you're either gonna stay up, or most people would take a nap, an hour nap, half an hour nap, depending, longer, depending on you know, what time Asa will come in. You wake up for salah to Asa, you pray your Asa, and then you until the end of the day, you know, after you share at 11, well, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And that's how it works. That's how it would work. Yeah, wow. This, this is according to Hadith, bro. Mm -hmm. Here I don't get it. Why wouldn't they give him in? Why wouldn't they give him in the building? So you will come out here and bother your teacher all the way to the car, <laughs> from the college right to the car. Ask what questions, Sheikh. Dum, 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 dum. You know, some teachers are more popular than others. You know, might be 10, 20 students behind them, whatever wow. the case may be. Yeah. So I would follow different teachers, even if I didn't have a question, but I would listen to their questions and listen to his answers. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was, yeah, I believe this was Quran. No, this was how you yeah, it's built right here. That's what the sign was. Oh, the teachers would go in that door. Some students occasionally. My first classroom was on the first floor. Was the classroom after that? I should even get inside. Here, this is where they would post the grades. Oh man. Yeah, and everybody can see your grades. Whew. So you know, after the test is done, they they get the word the the the, 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 the out. You go from the masjid. 
go check it to the jet. You got Mutaz, you got Jay Jiggin, you got Jade, you got Makbul, or you're fit. Oh, man. So obviously Mutaz is like straight A's. 5.0 or 4.0, whatever GPA. Obviously the, the, the GPA was up to five, not four here. You got know I me? Mean? So I think it was five up to 450 was uh, Mumtaz. He's the... Third floor, third year is third floor, and fourth year is back on the first floor again. What's your name, Jay? Where are you from? London. London, okay. How are you? What are you studying? Yeah, I just started myself 10 years. We say Kulayat al Mahal as a joke. We're reminiscing. This is the Kulayat al Hadid. Yeah, yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm blessed with your studies. Make the Sure, sure. This was the library. Yes, this was the library. Kulitul Hadith was. Right here. And I think, well, maybe it's just nostalgia, but that was the best location for it. Better than the new building. It was just the vibe. Everything was better in here. Obviously, you got your wudu. It was such a like privilege to be on the third floor. Like, Salam to Allah, Allah Allah, Allah Allah. It was such a privilege to be on the third floor. Like, I'm, cause you, you, you didn't you didn't go on the third floor like that. You just didn't go on the third floor. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So it's like when you finally made it up here, you felt you could feel the accomplishment. And that was only the third year. I think on the fourth year. If I'm not mistaken, you go back down to the first. Or maybe you stay up here, but it was like, you know what I mean? Yeah, top floor. Yeah, yeah. This was a room we had. This used to be a room we said study in Magisteria. We went backwards, the students were complaining. They was like, we're, we supposed to be, you know, the big dogs. Why are we sitting in these old chairs? Oh, man. SubhanAllah, man. It's deep. It's deep. Oh, Allah, Allah. The oral exam. You had the three teachers throwing you the trick questions. And then in here was 
Well, that was another exam I took there. <laughs> no money, no food, running low on food, run, running low on money. You know, balancing your studies, your children, your family, your time. And that's just your studies here. Your studies in the college. That's not talking about your own independent hevt mutun. Your own independent uh, review, mudakara. Your own independent, you know, just mutala, reading books, researching. Let alone the haram. Let alone the other masjids or the other, um, the houses of the different mashaykh that you would, uh, you know, sit in and learn from. You know what I'm saying? So, if I had any advice for upcoming students, you know, what's we'll it, fifth gen, sixth gen, whatever, next gen, the different generation of students is control of one's time by the permission of Allah, because we don't control anything in reality, and then management of one's time. They're two different entities. Controlling your time and managing your time are similar, but they're different. That's, that's all I'm gonna say about that at the moment. And if you don't control your time by Allah's permission, and if you don't manage your time, it's not, but so far you can go and start. At best, you're going to be limited, stunted. Your growth is going to be you know, retarded at best, let alone broken and shattered. You know what I'm saying? Back here, this was where, um, this is Kuli Tabuga back here. Back here is Kuli Tabuga. Yeah, this is Kuli Tabuga. Down there was their library. Uh, I feel I've, I've been in it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that was the Musalla, I believe, as well. Mm -hmm. We would come back here, get a, fre a brush of fresh air, a breath, a breath of fresh air. Or sometimes they had like a little, you know, like a sandwich type of spot. Quick breakfast thing in here. If you didn't eat breakfast already, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or you'll come out here like during the break, the fusha, the buffet. Sometimes the fusha, you would go to the uh, the bookstore. That's an old school classroom, for sure. Yep. Old school classroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The cafeteria, I don't know if it's still there. Back there a little bit. It's a rumor that was going around. Well, when first and foremost is the cafeteria was cheap and you buy meal tickets. So living on a university had major and serious advantages. You could budget all your money. You never you will never have to worry about money. Your rent was paid. The food was cheap. You understand? You, you didn't have to pay for no uh, uh, transportation. You walk to your classes and they have a free bus to and from the Prophet's Masjid every day. So, you know, you got brothers that lived here, they would literally save every single penny and dime except for the bare necessities. And they would like build all types of mansions and houses back home, the currency exchange, coming from an impoverished country to Saudi. Mm -hmm. So, when I was staying here for those two months, I went to the cafeteria sometimes, the food wasn't that bad, it wasn't that terrible at all, trust me. But then they made a rumor. And the rumor was, is that they put salt peter in the food. And that was the entrance to the cafeteria. The rumor was they put salt peter in the food. And obviously you know what salt peter is supposed to be or do. So oh, man. Some like, I ain't eating that. <laughs> My wife is at home. <laughs> she just ain't here right now. I'm not eating those food with salt peter in it. So that made a lot of Tolab like skeptical and scared of eating in the cafeteria. But it, trust me, it, that food was good. Like, <laughs> and if you're a student, you're here trying to study and benefit and stack. It's literally ideal. Let alone the time that it takes, go to the restaurant, come back from the restaurant, laugh, joke, drink tea, blah, 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 versus you being surrounded by, no. it's, it's, a, it's a mindset, right? It's a mentality, right? Musa, where are you from? Uh, Philly, Philly. Philly, I'm done. Nice to meet you. Me too, me too. You studying here? Yeah. I'm done. Wait, what you doing? Uh, Dawah. Dawah, mashallah. Mashallah, where are you yeah. in? Uh, the first year. 
I was in the mud, but then. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. May Allah bless you. May Allah give you success. Tawfiq. MashaAllah, Allah Akbar. Tawfiq. My pleasure. Take care, Habibi. Istahid. Allah bless you. Oh. 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 That was hard. Getting out of that store? Huh? That was hard. Getting out of the store was difficult. You understand? Yeah. On levels. 